Syria and Iran have ratified their political, economic and military cooperation agreements, which they consider vital to overcome the common challenges that both nations face. Our correspondent Hisham Wanas has the details. Damascus and Tehran stress the need to reinforce and strengthen their bilateral cooperation as well as with the other countries of the region during the visit of the newly appointed Syrian Foreign Affairs Minister to Iran. Both nations agreed on continuing the fight against the terrorists and the Zionist occupiers together until the liberation of, of all the occupied territories. There are people who want to push Damascus away from Tehran, create a rupture of the resistant assets and prevent Syria from recovering its significant role at the regional level, as the United States has planned. However, this visit shows that Syria will not change its position, will not abandon its allies and will stand firm on the resistance aces. The Iranian officials with whom the Syrian Foreign Affairs Minister al maqdad met confirmed that Iran will be a key ally for Syria in the post-war era, just as it has been in the fight against terrorism. Without doubt, Iran will not abandon Syria and the Syrians are grateful for this position, which they trust will help to lift the blockade and put an end to their suffering, and they believe that the visit of the Syrian Foreign Affairs Minister to Tehran is a way to boost bilateral economic cooperation for the benefit of the people of both nations. Iran will also be involved in the humanitarian help, sending thousands of tons of humanitarian aid to the Syrian people and to the Palestinians living in Syria. Tehran has said it will maintain this assistance until its Arab ally achieves total victory in the crisis that has affected it since 2011, expels the foreign invading forces and restores peace, security and stability.